Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from computergaga.com. This tutorial will look at using custom views to save print and display settings in Excel. The custom views is a very underrated tool in Excel. It's fantastic for producing uh, print settings, so kind of regular reports that you may run. So custom view consists of all print settings, including page breaks, scaling, margins, and also display settings, such as your filters and your hidden columns. So it'd be a great time saver uh, for regular reports you produce. So you have to keep unhiding columns, running filters, you know, setting print settings, this kind of stuff. So for example, on the screen in front of me, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save a custom view for this, this normal view, really, this default uh, sheet with no filters, no hidden columns, uh, in the standard print settings. So on my view tab, I'm already on my view tab, I'll click on custom views and I'm going to add a view uh, which I will call normal. You see it asks me would I like to include print settings and hidden rows and columns. Yes I do, I don't have any in play so that is really just on my basic settings. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, a slightly more intense view. I'm going to pretend that I produce a regular report um, looking at sales of seafood. And in this sale of seafood, I do not need to see the country that has come from or the customer code. So I'm going to right click on my country column and hide. And I'm going to right click on the customer code column and I'm going to hide. And I'm going to go to data filter. So hopefully turn on my filter arrows. Uh, we seem to be taking some time. Here we go. So I'm not sure what I did there, but here we go. I've got my arrows, my filter arrows. I'm going to use the category filter and I'll filter, uh, what does I say? I just said seafood by seafood. Fantastic. So here we go. I've, I've got 116 records. I will go to the view tab, custom views, and I'm going to add this in as seafood. Okay, so just one quick example of a custom view there, meaning that if I was to print this and I want to get back to my normal view, or maybe a completely different print I need to produce this day, at the moment I don't have to go to my drop down arrow, you know, clear filter or, or select order or what, what not to remove it back to 800 uh, rows here, 799 records. And then I don't have to select ENG, right click, unhide. Now come over to, uh, to B here and uh, unhide or double click on the, this area in between. You're kind of finally get there and <laughs> to bring back column A as you can see pretty, pretty tricky and um, but so I'm back to where I started but I mentioned I don't have to do that stuff I still have my filter on as well as it happens with custom views all I need to do is view custom views I can easily switch it back to seafood with my show button alternatively custom views normal show and I'm back I don't have to remove that filter and hide that column and hide that column like I did in the example before. So these preset display and print settings, I just realized I didn't show any print settings there, but I could have quite easily incorporated some of this stuff, you know, print into one page, 80%, uh, you know, putting in page breaks. So I could have included this kind of stuff uh, in my custom view. Now I can easily switch between views without the, you know, the work of having to unhide columns and, and tweak settings um, for, for kind of regular prints. There's a fantastic feature that I'm a, I'm a big fan of myself. Uh, you can't use custom views with tables, which is a big bugbear in his later versions of Excel, uh, 2007 and 2010. Um, yeah, it should be a irritant of, of tables and a use. So it's something for Microsoft to sort out there. So you can also use things like subtotals and database functions on them too. Uh, but that's another topic. Uh, it can be one of our other tutorials. Thank you for watching this one. Please check out some of our other tips and tutorials 
at computergargot.com.